against some familiar faces in New York. It's Team 1507. The Warlocks. In the middle, the Alliance captain of 2053. Tiger Tronics. And riding out this alliance is 45-47. Ooh, SD Tech. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! And the autonomous period has begun. 11.26, moving very slowly underneath the port. Call us and away they go. 54.06, flying over the moat. Catching some air. We got three, six, six successful crosses in that autonomous period, and the teleoperated period proves not to disappoint. 15.07. With a weak shot, but it goes into the low goal. And a heavy shot from 2053, but just a little low. 45-47 trying to unload a boulder down low, but they couldn't get it through. 54-06 crossing the moat. And they do it successfully. The moat is now damaged for the Blue Alliance to outer works. 11-26 picks up a boulder in the neutral zone, and 45-47 picks up one right next to it. 15-59 trying to play some defense, and they look pinned. By 1507, they're trying to get out of there. 5406 flying over the rock wall in 1126, scores another boulder down low. It looks like 2053 is trying to play some defense in their own courtyard. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance has two damaged defenses. The Red Alliance has two damaged defenses. The Blue Alliance tower is taking a beating. It's down to a strength of three. Red Alliance has a strength of six still. We still have over a minute left to play. 2053 trying to protect its own ta tower because it can only take three more boulders. 1126 loses its boulder gunner underneath the low bar. 1559 trying to play some defense against its own tower. Giving 1507 a little bit of a bump, but it looks like the Warlocks are able to break through. And a quick shot just a little bit too low from 1507. The Blue Alliance's outer works have been breached as 5406 flies through the sally port. Red Alliance has one cross left on its low bar before its outer works will be breached. And 4547 does! And the Red Alliance's outer works are now breached. We have 30 seconds left to play and 1559 is still as its own courtyard. This one is still neck and neck. Red Alliance has the advantage here, and right now it seems like they have the lead in the score. 15 seconds left. Here comes flying over the moat. We've got contact in the courtyard. 5406 and 1559 move in the challenge. 1507 and 4547 move in the challenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming into this second match, the Red Alliance needed a win to be able to advance onto a finals. So let's see the scores. Were they able to do it, or will the Blue Alliance take it to a match three? Red Alliance, 126 points. Blue Alliance, 100. The Red Alliance 
Number one ranked seed, 1126, 5406, and 1559 will advance to the finals. Could you all please join me in a big round of applause for the, the five ranked seed Blue Alliance consisting of 1507, the Warlocks, 5447, Westy Tech, and Alliance Captain, 2053, Tiger Tronics. Please join me in a big round of applause for the Blue Alliance, fifth ranked seed.